Okay guys, so today I've got a very cool tutorial for you because today on the 15th of December 2016 the people of Wigan, that's my hometown, famous for pies what did we do? Well, we went and sent one to space, didn't we? So let's just take a moment to appreciate that. Two, one, three. So off she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. How cool is that? I heard rumours it was a meat and potato pie, but for all I know, it could have been chicken and mushroom. So that happened. Anyway, moving on to the tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to extract cards from samples. So, well, say you've, say you've got a sample of a card, okay? Like this, for example, this saw card. Let's just play that. Okay, it's a card. We can all hear it's a card, but what card is it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. And the first thing you'll need is Voxengo Span, which is a free plugin, which I highly recommend downloading. This is great. I use this on everything. So, yeah, download that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run the audio through and click hold so we can hold the signal and have a look at it. Now, to figure out what the chord is, what we're looking for, we're looking at the first three fundamental tones here. You can forget about all this. This is just noise. And let's have a look. So the first spike, that's showing me an A. The second spike, that's showing me a C. And the third one's showing me an E. So if I look at the keyboard, that is an A minor chord. So I now know that saw chord is A minor. So we could then rename that A minor. Okay, so there you go. I could put that in my sample bank and we're all sorted. Now, sometimes you will get sample packs and for example, this says G, co G complex row chord. Now the rule of thumb is if something says just the letter, so just G, it should be a major chord. If it says GM, like a little M, that's G minor. Okay, that's the general rule of thumb. But people making sample packs don't usually abide by that. So this says G, I'm expecting this to be a G minor. Let's see if it is. So the first, first uh, fundamental letter is G, which is obviously correct for G. Uh, the third one, if it's major, should be one, two, three, four. This should now be a B, but it's not. It's an A sharp. So this tells me this chord is a G minor chord. And there's the fifth, which is a D, that's correct. So in this case scenario, this really, oops, uh, this should be called a G G minor, okay? So, you know, it's worth checking your samples and making sure you know that they are major or they are minor, okay? Now, this third example, this one's a little bit more complicated. Um, not a lot, but it's different, okay? If we open up span and look at the frequencies on this. Oh, what's going on here? There's, were those three gone? Well, the, the actual three notes of the triad are here. So we have, uh, what did I say that was? Oh, A minor. So we have the A, the C, and the E. Okay, we can see those. But what's this? Well, this is another A because what they've done, obviously, for this sample, they've played the triad, but they've also added in uh, a bass note, an octave down. So you need to be aware of that as well. Sometimes people will play the cards voiced so they won't be in perfect order. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, another cool thing you can do if you, if you have, say, Melodyne, for example, you can change um, you can change the notes so we can change it from let me have a look we could change we have an A minor here let's make it major so well it would have sounded like this but we can put it up to major it's great and you can even change the whole card so yeah so if you've got Melodyne experiment with Melodyne you can really uh, get some really cool cards and change them up and stuff. So, okay, uh, I hope that was an interesting tutorial for you. And uh, if you've got any questions, just send them over. And as usual, if I don't see you through the week, I will see you through the window.
Goodbye.